Hi, I'm Cindy Kruger, and today I'm going to show you the invoices in Legal Suite and the various different styles of invoices. Firstly, to access your invoices, so let's say for example you want to create your invoices. You go to the tab on the top here where it's got a green plus. The system will then show you all the matters that are available to be created. So here I'm going to go and create my invoices. Here you can further filter which invoices you want to create. Let's say you only want to do for a specific client or the various filter options that are here, matter, document set, matter, type, cost center, employee or group. But I'm going to set mine to all. The system will run through and it'll tell me how many invoices and how many statements were created. Invoices are created when there's new financial transactions posted on a matter and a statement is when there's no new transactions but you've still got a balance brought forward on that file. So we're going to say OK and it's shown me that it's created those invoices and statements. Now we're going to go and print those invoices. You'll go to the print tab at the top here. You can then either email the invoices or you can print them but first you've got to filter. So I want to filter just for the current period and the date being today and I'll say OK and it's going to show me those six invoices that was, were created. Now you've got a settings option here. This is where you can set how you want the invoices to display. So at the moment mine is set to print invoices and statements. So it will bring the balance brought forward, fees, disbursements, payments, receipts and journals and VAT all on one invoice and statement. You can take it a step further and you can say separate the invoice and statement. So the invoice will just show the fees and disbursements, so your VATable transactions. And your statement will show your balance brought forward, the invoice number, the invoice total, your payments, receipts, journals and VAT. You can take it another step and you can say separate them so they're printed on separate pages. So we're going to leave ours as print on separate pages. And if we go and we print this invoice, it will show you there's the tax invoice. And it's got the telephone call, telephone charge, the vatable amounts. And if we go up one page, this is now the statement. So it shows the balance brought forward, the invoice number 47, which was our, our disbursement and our telephone call, and the balance carried forward. And it also will show you the aging that's gone through on the file. Okay, now what you can do is you can set different styles of invoices. So if we go to this matter ABS1 matter 2, and if you double click on the matter and you go to the invoicing tab, it allows you to now select how you want the information on this invoice to be printed. You can set it across the board on all your matters in a certain way, or you can do it matter by matter, say they want different. So let's say, for example, they want full, so they want everything to show on the invoice from inception of the file. This can cause the invoice to become rather large, especially if it's a, it's a frequent matter that you do a lot of work on. So we're going to leave ours as brought forward. Then you have fees and disbursements. So it allows you to say how you want the fees and disbursements to apply, uh, appear. Now, we had it set to itemized and itemized. So the invoice showed the telephone call, the disbursement for the telephone call. Let's say, for example, we want essay style. You can then separate by semicolon or each on a new line. I'm going to set mine to full so it can, you can just see exactly how it looks. You can say separated by semicolon or each on a new line. So what this will do is it will show you the date. It will show you the description, but no amount by the individual item. It gives you on the last, gives you a total for all your fees or total for all your disbursements. Likewise here, you can say I want my disbursements to be SA style, but my fees must be itemized, for example. So I'm going to set mine to SA style and itemized. Okay, now if I go to the transactions for the matter, you can then go to the invoices for this matter icon. And let's say, for example, let's print the last one, which we created today. So we print this invoice. Okay, and you'll see that it says telephone call total fees, and it gives you the total fees here. And my telephone charge, that so gives you the date, the description, the VAT amount, and the total of that. Because my disbursements are set as itemized, and my fees were set as SA style, separate, each on a new line. Okay, then what you do uh, as well on the matter, there's a further option. So let's say, for example, if you go to invoicing, by SA style, if you select by disbursements, if you select SA style, there's an option where you can itemize creditor transactions. So let's, for example, say you've got a creditor disbursement, but you want that to appear separately. You can itemize your creditor transaction. And there's also a totals only option. So in other words, it will just show, so let's set us to totals only. 
and I go to this, in this matters invoices and I print this last one. If we print the invoice, it will show literally professional period, total for period 12 and total of all the disbursements. So it's not an itemized, this is now totals only invoice, so it can show you that. It just helps if you don't want your client to query why 5 Rand was charged for this disbursement, why 30 Rand was charged for this disbursement. You can set it up to the different uh, styles on your matter. Okay, then the last thing I want to show you is I want to show you under the print invoices, under the settings option, there's also custom fields. So what you can do is you can put your letterhead in here, or you can put, say, for example, you want to put a comment in the bottom where um, our offices will be closed on, s on such a date. You right-click and insert. Okay, you say where you want to put it. So in my example, I want to put it in the remittance. And I want text. The reason why is you get image and text. So let's say, for example, you're putting your letterhead. Your letterhead will then be text. In description, we're going to say a note of closure, for example. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to type, say, please note our offices will be closed on Thursday, 22nd February 2018. And you can copy for English and Afrikaans because obviously it depends on what your accounting language is set. So I'm going to say OK and OK and I'm going to go print this invoice. OK and then this is set. So in this example we haven't set it properly so you can go here and you go to settings. And this is where you've got to set where you want it. So we're going to say width. I want it to be 1,500 Rand. And this is your X and Y position on the invoice. So I'm going to say 500 and 250, let's say 1,500. Okay, so this is just so you play around and you get it exactly where you want it to appear on your invoice. So we say okay, and you'll see, please note that our offices will be closed on th Thursday the 22nd. So it's still not right, so we go to settings and we make it a bit wider. Let's make it even wider, let's say 3,500. Say OK. And if we go and we print this invoice, you'll now see that it says, please note our offices will be closed on Thursday the 22nd of February 2018. So now we've added a note to our invoices. And that's all the different invoices in LegalSuite.